having a criminal record can make getting an apartment incredibly tough. Most landlords are hesitant to even accept applications from someone who has a record. But what if your crime is not serious and only rises to the level of a misdemeanor? Can a landlord reject you even for such a relatively minor offense? In this video, I'm going to answer this question. I will lay out the legal landscape around this issue and discuss key laws and principles. I'll also provide 5 practical tips you can use to maximize your chances of getting approved even if you have a misdemeanor on your record, so you can turn that no into a yes. If all you're looking for is the short answer to the question, it's as follows. A landlord may reject you due to a misdemeanor on your record, however, under the Fair Housing Act, the landlord cannot have a blanket policy to reject applicants based on their criminal record. An individual assessment of each applicant's criminal history is required. Of course, we'll get into what all of that means later on, but let's start with some key definitions, the most important being what is a misdemeanor. In short, misdemeanors are crimes that are usually punishable by less than 12 months in jail. Common examples of misdemeanors include disorderly conduct, minor drug offenses, petty theft, drunk driving, shoplifting, and vandalism. Okay, now that we know what a misdemeanor is, let's analyze whether a landlord can reject your application because you have one on your record. To do this, we will need to examine both federal and state laws. Let's start with the former. Federal law. The key federal law governing this question is the Fair Housing Act. It prohibits discrimination in housing on the basis of race, color, national origin, religion, sex, familial status and disability. Housing discrimination includes rental arrangements, so rejecting an applicant on any of these grounds is prohibited. As you can see, none of these categories directly touch on misdemeanors, however, the HUD, which is the Department of Housing and Urban Development, provided guidance in 2016 relating to how the Fair Housing Act applies to people with criminal records. That guidance stated that landlords must not have a blanket policy rejecting applicants with a criminal record because such a policy can have a disparate impact on certain minorities. First, it's worth noting that under the 2016 guidance merely being arrested would not be a valid ground for rejecting an applicant. Convictions are what matter. If an applicant has a conviction, some of the factors to consider include the nature and severity of the offense, how much time has passed since the offense, and what the applicant has done since that time. The guidance also stated that one of the key things to analyze is whether the applicant would pose a risk to the safety of people or property. This can all get a bit confusing in the abstract, so let's take an example. A landlord will be much more likely to reject an applicant who was recently convicted of domestic violence, and who has a history of violence, versus an applicant who was convicted of a misdemeanor traffic offense 10 years ago and has no history of violence theft or property damage. The bottom line is that a landlord shouldn't reject you arbitrarily simply because you have a record. They must go through the factors above and analyze the facts and circumstances of your situation. State and local laws. Now let's turn to state and local laws. While the FHA applies broadly to landlords because it is a federal law, various states and localities may also have rules around when a landlord can reject an applicant based on their past criminal history. Unfortunately, differing standards adopted by different jurisdictions can sometimes muddy the waters. So it is worth familiarizing yourself with your state and local laws to understand the full picture. You can start by reviewing your state's landlord-tenant laws or you can ask a lawyer to help you navigate these sometimes complicated issues. If you want to seek the advice of a lawyer, you can try Just Answer. They are an online service which connects you to a real lawyer for a very affordable price. You can get a one-week trial for only $5 that comes with unlimited chat with your lawyer. You can access this deal by using my affiliate link below. How to get an apartment if you have misdemeanors. Okay, so you have a criminal record and maybe it's just a misdemeanor. What can you do to place yourself in the best light and get approved for a rental? The good news is that there are a number of solid strategies you can use to improve your chances for getting that coveted rental. Let's get into them. Number 1. Be upfront. Many people are tempted to hide their criminal record during the application process. Now this may work in some circumstances if the landlord is not paying attention or their screening methods are not effective. However, most apartment complexes are run by professional property management companies and their screening processes are designed to uncover each applicant's criminal history. So coming clean up front may be a better approach because the landlord or property manager will see that you are honest about the situation and are not trying to hide it. 
it also gives you an opportunity to explain the circumstances around the misdemeanor and put yourself in the most favorable light before the landlord has discovered the issue for himself. It's basic human psychology, the landlord will be surprised and suspicious that you didn't mention it and it will make it that much harder to get them to be receptive when you try to explain things after the fact. Number 2. Try to find landlords who are mom and pop operators. Big property management companies are tough to deal with and there is usually very little sympathy coming from them. They are probably processing hundreds of applicants each month and have seen criminal records countless times. However, a mom and pop operator may only be processing applications on a sporadic basis and won't be as jaded. They may be much more understanding with regard to your situation. Number 3. Make other parts of your application strong. While having a misdemeanor on your record can be a tough challenge to overcome, it does not mean there is no hope. Make up for it with other factors, such as a strong credit score, good income, solid rental history, and great references, especially from past rentals. Number 4. Offer to pay more. Obviously, one way to sweeten the pot for a hesitant landlord is to offer to pay a higher rent. Other options include providing a higher security deposit, signing up for a longer lease term, or if you are handy, offering to fix items instead of calling the landlord. In short, make yourself stand out from the competition and you may be able to land that rental property, even if you have a misdemeanor. Number 5. Find a rental that has been on the market for a while. If you go online to places like Zillow.com, they will show how long a property has been on the rental market. Properties that have been on the market for multiple months can be prime targets for you. After all, they are losing money every day that the property sits vacant and you could be the answer to their prayer. So there you have it, a detailed look at whether a landlord can reject you for having a misdemeanor, and some tips you can use to help you get approved for a rental. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps a ton and really motivates me to continue creating great content. Thanks for watching.